What's up guys, it's Bye Bye here with another Rise of Kingdoms video. Uh, today video, I will show you guys Kingdom 1860 KVK Season 3 rankings. Uh, first, I will tell you how Kingdom 1860 track everyone's scores. Uh, so the way it works in Kingdom 1860 is that we record everyone's stat before and after some of the big fighting event like Ancient Ruin opening, uh, Alt of Darkness opening, or King's Land opening. Uh, what do I mean by before and after some of these events? Uh, for example, like if Ancient Ruin is going to be open at like 15-0 UTC, uh, we expect to fight the enemy from a 14-0 UTC to a 16-0 UTC, right? Uh, so we only track everyone's contribution during those two hour time frame from 14 to 16 UTC. Uh, any fighting done like before 14 UTC or like after 16 UTC are not getting recorded. So you must be online doing the big event if you want to contribute to the kingdom. And it, it kind of makes sense, right? Like you got to be online for some of those big events if you want. <laughs> if you want your contribution to, to count toward like, hey, you, we actually, you actually help the kingdom like controlling the ancient ruin or something like that, like, right? Anything that like firing before or after is just for fun. Uh, for your own uh, leisure, right? Uh, so it's it's a little different from how my old Kingdom 1636 did. Uh, back in back in Kingdom 1636, we track everyone's stat throughout the entire KVK, uh, beginning to the end. Uh, so like, I think like 1860 is a, a bit better. Uh, it does require a lot more work because we need to calculate everyone's score after every big event. But uh, it definitely prevents people from like tampering with their stats to like changing up the, the, the final score. Uh, so like if your kingdom also track everyone records for KVKs, uh, let me know in the comment section how your kingdom uh, do it. Uh, so now let's go and take a look at the rankings. Uh, who rank at the top? Plus some of the shout out for some of the, some of the great fighter in uh, Kingdom 1860. So here's the ranking, and at rank number one, you have me. Yay! Thank you, thank you. I try hard to be at rank number one. <laughs> oh boy! So let's go and take a look at some of the score here. So as you can see right here uh, at the Jalo area, uh, we we tracking the ruin stats separately from the King's Land stats. So ruin stat including fighting at ancient ruins and Alt of darkness there. So uh, for me, my ancient ruins, my ancient ruin stat, I was at uh, three point two million T four kill, two million T five kill with a total of five point three million kills, and the score for the pre King's Land is 16, 16 million. Uh, so there is some uh, math, some formula there that they use. I, I am not the highest score when it comes to like Ancient Ruins because I think one of the reasons was that like our opponent, one of the, like we add a uh, different Ruins uh, compared to some of the people from DNT. So I am Indian One Alliance and then uh, other from DNT, they are at the in different Ancient Ruins. So like my score is not that great for ru Ruins. Uh, so we had some other player here, so I my score for ruin like pre King's Land was only 60 million. We got some other player here at 27 million, we get Dark Atomi. Uh, we got some other player here at 31 million, very, very high score here, JD. So JD has very, very high score for like pre King's Land Open uh, for the Ancient Ruin fighting and Alt of Darkness fighting. He had a very, very high score there. Uh, Ottoman Return is also at like 24 million as well. So definitely a lot of people have a higher score than I do. Uh, for the ancient ruin fight, but uh, Kingslands, Kingsland is what matter, right? <laughs> so when Kingsland opened, which is about three or four days ago, like on the weekend, uh, Sunday, uh, so the amount of death troop I have was two hundred sixty-three thousand. Uh, the amount of T four kill I had was eight point eight million T four kill, and the T five kill I had was five point five million, with the total Kingslands point of hundred ninety-five million points. And with the final score, so I think the final point was like the, the total of like Ancient Ruins plus Kingsland. So like for Kingsland score, I was ranked number one at 195 million points, by the way. 
And the total voice, the total voice so far, I am also ranked number one. Uh, so uh, we, I think we also using uh, the total point and then there is adjusted point. I think adjusted is based on your power. Uh, so like people with like 100 million power or above, they probably have a different adjusted uh, 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 formula there. So, uh, so my total point was 12 million after adjusted uh, based on my power, I am at 255 million. So, so far, overall, rank number one is me. <laughs> uh, so, we got some other player here. So, we'll, we'll go and take a look at some of the other players in uh, Kingdom 1860. Like, I, I, I want to especially give, give some shout out to some of the like, small, small player. So, if you look at like the top, like overall so far, the, over, the overall point so far for Kingdom 1860, like the top contribution are some of the players that like below like sub 100 million power We've got some 80 million power player here so like my power my highest my highest power was about 80 million we got another player here at 70 million like a 70 million power player can make big big contribution to uh, the kingdom here right better than some of the bigger players so we got this player here um very very like 27 million point here for uh, ancient ruins fight and 167 million points for kingsland uh, 1 million death troops, so very, very good with a reinforcing structure and drawing rally there. Uh, very, very high amount of T4 kills and very, very good amount of T5 kill as well. Like 10 million, about 10 million kill here, 11 million kill here in Kingsland here. Only slightly, slightly less than what I have. Uh, and only 17 million power here, player here. We've got some other big player here, over 100 million power player. We've got Curti, 107, 107 million power. We've got JD at 105 million power here. A very pretty solid score for the Ruin and very very high score for Kingsland as well at 108 million score here for Kingsland for Curti 61 million score here for JD uh, but uh, there was some big player right so we got some other uh, small player here we got Apoch like now small player here 66 million power only and what 10,000 death troop here for like, pretty pretty good with like uh, reinforcing structure and rally there a uh, 4.1 million t4 kill 4 million t5 kill pretty high i would say pretty amount pretty high amount of t5 kill here with the total point of kingsland kill of 129 million and uh, the total point 136 million here and just the point based on his total power he ended up with 164 million power uh, total point here at the end uh, some other smaller player we got uh uh, Sabu Lover is also very good fire here, like only 75 million power. Uh, find it almost single talent death troop here for Kingsland fight. 4.6 million T4 kill, almost 2 million T5 kills here, very, very good. A uh, Crowblade X here, also very good fire here, very active, only 68 million powers. Uh, 67 million power after Kingsland here, 700 thousand death troops there, 3.6. A million T4 kill and 2.9 million T5 kill. Very, very good. Uh, I want to give some sh shout out to some other smaller player. Uh, Onomi, N12, 78 million power. Very, very solid. Very, very good fighter there. Uh, we got Tato. Uh, Mips, 66 million power here. Uh, I want, I saw like, I saw like a very, very small player earlier here. Um, Ducks. Dark Sucker, 63 million, very very good here, uh, 3.3 million T4 kill, 2.2 million T5 kill here, like we have a lot of like small players in Kingdom 1860 make better contributions than some of the bigger players, like I'm not trying to talk down on some of the big player in 1860, I'm just saying that uh, like the contribution to your kingdom most often don't come depend on the, the player power. Like sometimes some small player can make great great contribution to your kingdom and like i think like a lot of people when it comes to a recruiting people to your kingdom often people just looking at the power only and i think that where people recruiting the wrong the wrong players to your kingdom right like if you if the first thing you come to your mind is to okay i want this player had to have a minimal amount of like power before i can let that player coming into my Kingdom, it it, it just wrong, right? Um, you gotta see how how active, how 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 good of a player uh, that you want to recruit into your kingdom, and not based on the power only. 
Uh, okay, so here is a very, very small player here. We got KLJY, like 42 million power players. Uh, his, his score for like Ancient Ruin is not that great, but uh, his score for Kingslands is pretty, pretty good. Like 1 million death tube here, 1.4 million T4 kill, 1 million T5 kill here, and 70 million score. Kingsland and after adjusted based on his power, he is at 109 million power. He ranked 35. Like a 42 million power players ranked 35. Like above some of the much bigger player. It, impressive, impressive, right? Uh like I would love to have this guy in in my kingdom or in my alliance. Like some of the player like him. Like I would welcome any of these players into my kingdom or alliance. We got another like 54, 55 million player here. Dark Natero, 55 million power here, very very good contribution, very decent amount of Ancient Ruin uh, poi here, and very very good amount of poi for Kingsland as well. We got another 54 million power player here, right? Zozo, Sarma, like a lot of small players, like 53 million power player here in the top 100. Like, so you don't need to have, you don't need to have be like, you don't need to have a, to be 100 million power or higher to be at the top. Like, it's all about like how active you are at fighting and how how much resource and speed up you are willing to spend in in KVK, right? So, uh, like if you if you watch the live stream that I did for Kingsland, you can see that I was very very aggressive and I was very very active at fighting. And some of you might already know that like I was I was not even using five March of T five, so I was only running four March of T five and one March of T four. And I was able to get a very, very good amount of kills just because I was very active at fighting and just, just be there to help the kingdom, right? So, I uh, just want to give some shout out to some of the, the great fighters here in uh, Kingdom 1860. So here's the list. If you guys want to take an, another look here, I'm just going to do a slowly scrolling down to give a, a, a list of players from Kingdom 1860 here to the top 100s, I would say. Uh, let's go scroll down to top 100 here just in case anybody interested to see if you can find any of your friends here on the list from Kingdom 1860. Uh, here, another one here. We've got another 49 million power player here in rank 61. Very, very good. We've got another 41 million, oh my god, another 41 million power player here at rank 63, King Sotomon Ammo. Very, very good, right? Some of these small players make better contribution to some of the bigger player. Uh so that like got a now 53 million power player here, lovely bond. Uh now 48 million power player here. Like, I, I am more impressed with some of the small players that get to the top 100 than some of the big players. Like I have a I have a high expectation to those big player. Uh we've got now a 50 million power player here. Uh Maximus Rust, 55 million power player here, Hellfire. Another 45 million power player here. Gallus, man, like some of these small players, they make great, great contribution. Oh my god, Dark Stylo, 44 million. Like, we got a lot of small players here from Kingdom 1860s that get to like top 100, as like you can see. It, it, it's crazy. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very impressed with some of these small players here. Get a very, very good contribution to the, to the kingdom. So, Oh, so that is a list for for Kingdom 1860 ranking. And next one is um like what what are the rewards for the top ranking, and some other information that I want to share with you guys, like how how Kingdom 1860 use the uh, ranking to decide who gang what, right? So uh, early on, like there was some um. I think there is some time when so like when ancient ruin open right and then after ancient ruin, ruin ancient ruin open you can have a capture one of the level six paths and circle as well. So kingdom eighteen sixty we use the ranking for uh so we, we we track the ranking we update the ranking consistently every time after some of the big fight. So we use the ranking for like ancient ruins fighting to decide on who is going to get the reward for the circle or some of the paths. Uh, levels for the past capture as well. Uh, here's some of the email from the king. Uh, so the reward list. So, uh, so here another mail here from the king here. So we we, we base so whoever. So like hey, if your name on the list, if you contribute to the fight at the ancient ruin, so you are welcome to go to the N one or the N T to 
to get the reward for the for the circle there. So I think it's pretty fair. It's pretty um, uh, transparent, uh, like how we keep in track of the score and how we try to make it fair depend on the the player power as well. As you can see, we do have an adjusted uh, poise uh, depend on the player power. And so that was a Kingland's five rewards. So I totally, I totally missed out on this mail here. Like I did not know that they was giving out uh, the top 25 Mighty Scum event. There's the next one for the top 25 uh, fighter for Kingsland. So I totally, I totally missed this email. And then like, I just got, I just saw it today. So I bookmarked it. Uh, and like when, when I saw this, this mail here about like, okay, first and second universal Mighty Scum event. And I saw my name, I was like, oh. Did I qualify to get to uh, one of the uh, Mighty Scum event? And yes, I think I did. So look like I will be getting uh, top one for one of the Mighty Scum event. And uh, I think I'm going to get Attila. So that is how Kingdom 1860 handling the rewards there. I think the top, as obviously uh, the top player in the ranking will eventually get to be in the, the 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 best alliance at the end to get the final rewards most like probably like controlling the great secret at the end or some other right so it, it all based on the ranking of like how how much you contribute to the kingdom so there is no playing favor there hey oh like hey i'm your friend put me on the list so it, it's not how it is um all the score are there and it's getting updated automatically um so it, 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 it's great, right? It, it, it's great. Like I did not know that it was giving out that uh, the, I did not know that it was giving out the top twenty five, uh, mighty scum event spot for the top twenty five people in Kingsland Five. Like I was just going in, just trying to having some fun, and <laughs> I I won, I won the next mighty scum event uh, top number one, which is great. And I think it I think it's a great way. I think it's a great great way to uh, to distribute. Uh, Mighty Scum event, right? If you if your kingdom running a fixed Mighty Scum event, and there is like a good reason, I think it's a good reason to to give out the top for the people who actually fight the hardest during Kingsland. I think Kingsland is probably the most important fight uh, for KBK season three, and I mean like I I think it's definitely worth it to give it out to the top twenty five uh, people. Like I'm not saying it because I am getting the top number one but it would definitely something i would do if i i if i am in the leadership as well uh giving it out to the top fire will definitely encourage people to find more in kingsland and it eventually can help your kingdoms uh at the end of the day uh you never know who's gonna be here to fight for the next kvk who gonna fight hard for the uh uh for the future kvk right you can only depend on you can only decide on that based on the past performance, and I think it totally, it totally um, uh, makes sense to reward the people who fight hard for your kingdom with how you like doing, how you running fixed mighty scum event in your kingdom. I think so. Thank you very much for Kingdom eighteen sixty to give me that uh, number one spot for the next. I mean, not the next one, but the next next one for the mighty scum event, and for the other other 24 player as well that rank like 24 other player rank below me because there will be the fix for 25 people and I, I really appreciate it and i think the leadership from kingdom 1860 they're putting a lot of work into like tracking everybody's score and putting in the effort to like calculating doing all all that kind of work as well like, i really appreciate what they did uh and so some other information that I want to talk to you guys is um so as I told you guys right um I was I was running like five I was running forty five marches and one T four marches and I was able to fight a little bit longer this KVK even though like my resources was very very low if you guys watch the live stream but like I was still able to get pretty high scores there for Kingsland but like my future plan for for me is I'm gonna still got to try to train more T4. So hopefully by next KVK, I'll be able to run like at least two T4 marches or three, at least. Uh, so hopefully there will be a chance for me to train more T4, either for cavalry or for infantry there. 
So, uh, to be honest with you guys, like to get higher score, it's all about like how you how well you manage your resources, how well how much you're willing to to spend in in fighting to get to to that score. Like I would just like using all the speed up, using all the resources without even like hesitating. Like I would just okay, my hospital fill, heal again, come back and fight, come back and fight because like the open field is very very important for KVK. And we just got, like at the end of the day, it's all about like how how long you can last. Like, can you outlast the enemy when it comes to fighting? And if you ask me what's the secret to get to top number one, I can tell you right now, it's all about farming, farm resources, manage your resources, and save some of the speed up that you're willing to to spend to um, to get to use in uh, in fighting. And I think that is probably the key factor. Uh, the key, one of the main reasons how I get to top number one in Kingdom 1860. Anyway guys, I hope you guys find this video informative uh, and thanks for watching guys.